Let's go. Yeah, dude, go for it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to A Bag of Tricks. This is a New World podcast. Well, primarily a New World podcast. In yeah. fact, we only even talk about New World. <laughs> yeah, I don't know do. how to intro these anymore because it's been a while. <laughs> it's it's. I think the last time we recorded an episode was, uh, it was 2023. Three? Yeah, but, you know, I would say maybe not too much has been happening in New World Tricks. So it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, I am Baggins, uh, the bag. And of course, with me is the Tricks, Mr. Trick. How's it going, Trick? It's, it's going great, V. It's a uh, pleasure to have you here once again. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. A lot of yeah, things it's... and not a lot of things have happened. Yeah, it's interesting. There's like a, you know, it's uh, it's uh, the expansion came out. It was pretty hype. And then I feel like then it's since then it's maybe been a little bit downhill. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about what we're doing in the game currently, Trick. So season five came out last week. What what have you been up to in New World for the past sort of week or two? What have you Dude, been doing? I've been doing I've been doing this uh, this thing called OPR nonstop. OPR. Yeah, N literally. Yeah, I heard about that. Uh, yeah. There was there was a new thing they added is the the Winter Rune Forge. It's a it's a ten man trial which I did it the first week two times. Then I didn't get the great axe, and then I didn't do it again until until yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. OPR and 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 not much, not much other than that. What do you think about the? Uh, so you only did the Winter Rune Forge twice, trick. What's stopping you from doing it more more times? <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, okay. So for the, for the people that actually don't know, right? Because obviously this is for the majority of the people that are aware of what's going on. There's absolutely mm. nothing to get in that place, B. I mean, yeah. absolutely nothing. The best thing out of the, the 10 men trial, honestly, besides the challenge, because it's quite challenging. Let's not take that out of the, 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 the way, right? Like, it was mm. actually quite challenging, and I, I personally enjoy the fight. And I was fighting the second boss yesterday, and I was like, it is such a cool fight. It is such a cool yeah. fight. It's such a waste that people only do it for the great axe and once people do it for the great axe people will never do it again so mm, yeah mm. i'm only doing it to get the new artifact great axe and and that's about it yeah i yeah i agree i did um so i did my two runs for the great axe and then some people from the company uh -huh. wanted to get some runs in as well so it's like all right I'll, I'll jump in with them why not and um when you so the first two attempts that you do it you get a box of loot that has the chance for the artifact great axe and there's yes. a few other items in there that are okay-ish you know they're mm -hmm. at least uh legendary but everything that you get that isn't in that box is just absolute garbage trick That's, like yep. we're talking like the the pvp rewards track but like even worse like yes. before season five you know just like they're all purples with two perks and mm -hmm. they're like 660 gear score it's just man why would anybody want to do this to bad, you? <laughs> dude bad i mean the only reason other than the great axe is just for some possible skin that you yeah. know that you, that's it but that's about it I don't know why they limited it to two, honestly, dude, because it's kind of like the hatchery, you know, where, mm -hmm. where the hatchery is maybe a little bit easier, but I do agree. Like, it's it's actually, it's fun, you know, it's not too easy, but it's not too difficult either. You can just about do it with, like, a group of randoms, um, but yeah, just only two times per week just seems really rough from Amazon. I don't know, man, they don't want people to have too much fun or something. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird because even even as fun as the fight is, there's no really any reason to do it without any rewards. Like, why would you mm. ever do it, you know? And, and, and the thing about it is, like, you, you know, the, the, again, what you said, the rewards is such a big factor of all of their activities. And it seems like some of the activities are fun, but fun without rewards is just not fun. Yeah. This kind of segues into just the discussion about Season 5 and Seasons in total. But people in, in, uh, in chat and stuff have been asking, like, yo, should I go in and check out Season 5? And, um... I mean, I'd be interested to hear, like, if you had to give it a score trick, like, compared to all the other seasons, you know, from one out of one out of ten, one being just like it's absolutely garbage, ten being it's like the best update ever. How would you rate season five? I would rate season five a solid four. Four? Okay, yeah, I give I give it a five. So, you give it five. Yeah, similar. Yeah, I five mean, for season five out of ten. Yeah, look, <laughs> look. So let's look at the positives about season five for a second, right? Mm -hmm. The positives were the new artifacts they added. Okay. Yeah. The ten men trial. Mm -hmm. And the attempt to make combat better. Oh, th honestly, the best thing about season five was the magnified changes. And the yeah. the, 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 the attributes costing only fifty gold. Quality of life, crazy, right? That the best two yeah. things were just quality of life thing. 
Yeah, zero content that, that is worth doing. And mm. the artifacts, oh my god, the mission for the artifacts. Yeah, oh, that's, uh, I wanted to get into that as well. Uh, what do you think about the... So I, I think one change that is like... It maybe doesn't matter too much to us, but I think to some players is decent, is the changes to the PvP rewards track. Like, you can actually get 700 oh, yeah. Gascot items now and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. are you, have, you, have you seen many good things come out of the rewards track for you so far? The, the, the thing is, so... First of all, it feels like there's a bunch of gear that is supposed to be there, but it's not there. Like, mm. I haven't seen any of the PvP gear, like the, the drag attack or the white shoes... Like, none of the yeah. named items I actually have not seen in there. There's supposed to be another name set called Reconnaissance. It's not there. And there is a current bug with the Reconnaissance that the only way to obtain it is that if you're level 66. So, yeah, and that's, you, pretty, that's pretty difficult to do because yeah, anybody who really isn't hard. super up to date, <laughs> level 65 is the cap, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's, almost, it's almost quite impossible for you to get mm. the, the PvP gear and the random the random pieces that you get there, as you said, as you mentioned, there's 700, but they're actually quite scarce. Like the actual armor, you get a bunch of uh, uh, perks now, like and and you get some dice, and you get some gold, and you get some dark matter. So there's a lot of things in the PvP track now, but the actual gear seems to be seems to be lacking a little bit. Like the named items are very very hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, think, I don't think I've seen any of the, you know, the champions. Were, I think I got one champion's amulet. That's yes, it. And, one and champion, one. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, yeah. yeah, it seems like they're there, but the pool is so saturated that it's, it's very hard for you to find one. And let's not even yeah. talk about if you're level 200 in the, in, the, in, the, in the PvP track and you try to get an artifact. Yeah, I was just gonna say the uh, the old Iron Heart seems to be. Uh, I know you, me, and Jay were uh, spamming a lot of outpost rush to try and get Iron Heart. <laughs> so there's there's this number that's been floating around. I don't know if it's actually been like verified or proven true, but okay. you know, data miners they look into the files of the game or whatever, and they can break down the chances that you if you just have one artifact left to get, what is the likelihood that it will show up based on your track number? Mm -hmm. And it's like if you're if you're anywhere from like track 100 to 150, it's like 30 to 40 or something like that. Right. 150 to 199, it's also around 30 percent to 40 percent. Right. Um, but then when you hit 200, it just falls off a cliff. Apparently, yes. it's like 2.5 percent, which is just it man. It completely plummets. And the thing about it is, whenever they coded it, because they specifically said if you're 200, your chances of getting artifacts are exponentially increased. So whatever yeah. that increase they did, it, it, it somehow went into a negative aspect. So whatever mm. plus you were getting, if you were 200, then it's actually a big negative. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think there might be a messed up with the maths there. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. What's your? Uh, let's see. I want to say you you mentioned the artifacts of season five mm -hmm. being like a positive. I think. Um, I've re so I've been playing around with Tempest Fury. I really like right. the the spin to win axe. I have played fun. a little bit with Venom, but I'm not. I don't know. I just I can't get into it. But I can acknowledge that it's really strong. And Nature's Wrath, I've been using quite a bit as well. What do you think is what do you if you had to say which artifact is most powerful and which artifact is least powerful? Trick? Do you do you have a review so far? And maybe we don't include Ironheart because we can't play with it yet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um. So yes, I've been doing some testing with the new artifacts. Uh, let, let me first talk about the weapons. Give me one second, excuse yep. me. Awesome. So, um, so Venom. Well, Venom, mm -hmm. Venom people say, like, it's really strong. It's really, really strong. I will say the majority, the main reason the majority of the players right now is using Venom is because how easy it is to obtain, right? It's very yeah. easy to obtain. You get it very simple, and then you can go ahead and upgrade it rather quickly. And, and it has an illegal perk combination, that makes a uh, combo like Sword and Shield and Spear very easy to achieve to get the full potential of the Spear, right? Mm. So it's very easy to obtain, very easy to upgrade, and very easy to perform with it. Then the other one is Sin. Sin, while Sin is a very good hatchet, the thing about it is that the hatchet gameplay is still is a very niche gameplay that is not easy for the majority of the players. I suppose mm. with spear, right? Spear is like very low level entry. You put it on, you can use like a perforate, uh, you use a cyclone, and you always have very good, you know, very good uh, outcome. 
hatchet is it's yeah. a harder weapon to play with and the least powerful and not only is the least powerful but is the hardest one to get out of all of them without a doubt it's tempest fury right not really? only not only do the perks are uh locked behind <laughs> behind the sandworm but it also yeah. the obtain the obtaining the greatest itself it, it was the hardest of all three of them because you only mm. get two chances a week right yeah and see i i i think the i would put tempest fury above the creed boots and also gilly's oh, oh, gravity yeah. oh no if we're I gonna think, talk about I think the those gear. things are pretty pretty awful oh but we were just talking about weapons sorry right, yeah, my right. bad yeah no that yeah that's fair enough then yeah I, I would put it that way like uh venom is probably top followed by sin and then tempest is the least powerful and I, but it's the most fun it is the most fun <laughs> like if for real it's super fun there, there are some things that i after playing with tempest i actually kill the sandworm and uh mm. you know I, I i upgraded it fully there are some things that i noticed with tempest that it makes it a little bit inconvenient for like the majority of the player right uh it, it seems like whirlwind has a very short hitbox Meaning that yeah. you have to be literally on top, on top of the enemy, for you to mm. be able to to hit him with a whirlwind, and um, and it seems like the spins, the, the, the twelve spin is really cool. I really like that that you can spin twelve times, but it feels like it's too long, right? Uh, yeah. It exposes you, it exposes you to uh, to 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 a lot of to a lot of CC, to, because you 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 know you're spinning and your trajectory is very. Uh, very predictable so mm. it, it, in in and that's that's the whole the whole thing about the artifact is that is that spinning and that allows it to spin so i was thinking maybe there's two things that they can do to make uh tempest fury a little bit better one increase the range of the whirlwind like the hitbox so you don't because man you literally have to be and whenever you add the sync into the equation and it, it's really hard for you to connect those hits sometimes you're on top of an enemy and and, and you don't hit anything you're you're, you're yeah. just spinning 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 it's like where is the damage where is it you know and um or what they could do is make it spin a little bit faster so if you have like a little window to do the spin then you can get more out of it rather than rather than the the, the current speed that we have uh on the spin yeah, it would be cool if like if successful hits make it spin faster or something. So you get movement speed, but you also spin faster as well. Right, fun. yes, that will actually be really cool that every successful hit makes it spin faster or every successful hit is slow the enemy uh the enemy the enemy more so you're able to stick to them. Uh doesn't mm. it, it doesn't even have grid. No, it does have grid, but the grid is only for the first 7 hits. After yeah, after so like yeah, the default whirlwind, right? Exactly, the default whirlwind, which they could also make it grid for the entire ability. Not just for mm. the first seven, uh, seven spin. Um, yeah, one, yeah. one, one, like sort of a tip that I would give to people who are using it is, um, I don't actually fully finish whirlwind because if you fully finish it, he does this thing where he like stops and then he's oh, like, whoa, yes. and tries to catch himself, mm -hmm. and then you get like animation locked, so you yes. have to like just block or, or cancel or, or like or use an ability or like, roll. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Don't, yeah. don't let the full whirlwind channel, which kind of feels bad because you want to use the full spin, but you know, yes, it's, it's actually, it's like an active disadvantage to do that. <laughs> it is. It is. Uh, it's right. really smooth we, we, by the way, when you, when you're yeah. doing the spin and you want to cancel it with something else. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it, you can like perfectly go from one into the other. So, we, we, we touched on it briefly with the sandworm and stuff. I think there's like a big problem with season five trick. Um, I mean, obviously, despite all the other issues as well. But um, of the artifacts that we've listed, Venom, mm -hmm. uh, the Tempest Fury, the Gilly's Gravity Gauntlets, the Nature's Wrath chess piece, um, all of these require you to go in and like do content with other players, which, you know, isn't crazy. But it's like weird old content that, you know, like the the Siren and the Spriggan and the Protector is like old, really old content at this point that hasn't yes, been sir. updated in a long time. Because you need a flipping tuning hop to get in there, dude. Like mm -hmm. it's like 2021. Um, and then if you want to get the Tempest Fury, you got to go do the, uh, uh, the Winter Runeforge. Mm -hmm. But you, as we've talked about, the loot table is pretty bad. So you, you're just going in there to get the great axe. And once you've done it, like you could forget about it. And that kind of the same with the sandworm, you know, people don't really routinely do the sandworm. So I have a feeling trick. What people have been asking me, like, I'm going to jump into season five or is season five worth it? I'm like, if you are going to play season five, you need to do it within like the first three weeks because all of the content, like nobody's going to go back and do that stuff. So you're not going to be able to get the artifacts. Um, 
And I, I think this is like, like this is kind of a problem, you know, because if you want to go get Life Taker, a Bolt Caster, you got to go kill those enemies up in the middle of nowhere. But at least you can solo them if you have like Blood Drinker and a decent build. But you can't right. solo the Winter Runeforged or the Sandworm or the Spriggan. I mean, maybe, but maybe, you've got 15 yeah. minutes to do it. So it's a. Uh, I don't, I th what do you think about what they're doing here with the with putting like the sandworm as like a perk unlock and stuff? The, the, the sandworm for sure is is the biggest mistake that they ever done because if we look historically how many people in the player base have done the sandworm, it's very mm. little, right? Like yeah. the amount of people have done the sandworm is very little because you actually need coordination, you need an actual uh, composition, you know, with the rains and you need the range to be you know doing the lights. Uh, you need the healers. And, and and again, it was so incredibly inconvenient because the first week, not not a lot of people got Tempest Heart. Actually, mm. very little amount of people got Tempest Heart. So even the people that got it, they had to just look, it at, look at it in the inventory, collecting dust because they couldn't do anything about it because not even 20 people had the Great Axe on the first week. Now, the second yeah. week, let's say that everybody has the, the Great Axe. But now you need an actual raid and... And, 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 and it's hard. It's hard to get the raid. It's hard. First of all, it's hard to do the raid with a real composition. But the fact that everybody needs to have the great axe in the raid, that means that basically people are only using one weapon for, yeah. for the raid. So it makes it extra complicated. So for yeah, the average player, mode. yeah, for the average player that wanted to actually enjoy the great axe, it's as close as impossible as anything that they have ever added to the game. Yeah, the sad thing is as well, the perk that you get by killing the sandworm is the one that makes the whirlwind. It last is a longer. mandatory. Like the perk. whole reason to yes. use the Great X. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what like... yeah, it's what makes it artifact because whenever you get it, it has momentum, which it, it, sure, what it okay, it's it's nothing. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely I, I think if I was down. if I was in Amazon's position, especially going into season five, because it's gonna be harder and harder to find people to do the Winter Runeforge and then also find people to do the sandworm with you as well. There's gonna be a lot of people mm -hmm. who just don't bother with that artifact. Um I think they either need to not have it be in the sandworm or they need to like have a normal version and a mutated version of the sandworm. Or yes. They need to like scale that content so it you know, there's only like two lights or whatever, and you there's like a ping so you can say so you can do it like to ten people. people. You can do it with ten yeah. people, yeah, five people. Or just a spike the hell out of the, the loot table for the sandworm. So people are actually doing it. Because 100% yeah. of the people that are doing the sandworm right now, it's simply for the great axe. There's absolutely no other reason to do it. If you actually update the loot table and you make it and you make it very, very good, so everybody's doing it, then that will make it easier for some of the people to just go ahead and jump into, into a sandworm raid. But yeah, you're 100% mm. right. I don't know if you've seen this, by the way. There's a little bit of data mining on Reddit, and it's kind of backed up in the game. When you open up the game, and then you click, uh, there's a little question mark above the play button, and it says about Season 5. And then you click on Season 5. It calls it the Season of Trials instead of the Season of the Guardian. Mm. Um, and allegedly, that was what Season 5 was going to be, like, uh, a few months ago. But they had to cut a lot of content, probably because, uh, you know, console and, and stuff that they're working on. Yeah. Um, but either way, it seems like, Originally, season five, they were going to go through and like update the loot table for the sandworm and um, the spriggan and the siren and stuff, which would kind of make sense as to why that's why you acquire the artifacts. But I guess at some point they've realized that they can't commit to that work. So they've like halfway done the season of trials, but they haven't at the same time, which kind of makes sense why season five just feels like it's a bit of a a bit of a stinker, dude. It I don't is. know, man. It is. Season yeah. four and season five, they were very, very lackluster. Like there was nothing, man nothing added what you, into it Go ahead. what do you think of like that season like idea in total because in my opinion i think season one they laid it out and it was like okay we, we got the dungeon we got the season pass uh they added in gear sets it was kind of cool apart from you know making you pay for them and stuff mm -hmm. and barely giving you any uh and then season two was like really good actually because yeah. we got the crossover episode rush new arena map we got um it, it was like all the, the seasonal story stuff we got Shana Shea and we got the, the, the Sandworm. Yeah, the Sandworm two. raid and the Hatchery the raid hatchery, as well. Like yeah. it was a lot. Like season yeah. two was actually decent, season. and then season three we kind of just like well, it's the expansion. The expansion, so, you know, yeah, it's yeah, not really yeah. that. And then after that, it's just like I don't know, man. I feel like <laughs> the seasons have just been like, oh crap, we have to do these season things, don't we? Well, yes. We need to sell the battle pass, so I guess um here here's a dungeon and then here's a ten person raid thing. Yeah. Here's some artifacts.
<laughs> yeah, they're selling the season as just with artifacts, you know, because there, there's no actual content. Most yeah. of the things that they were focusing in were the the, the MSQ and, and things that were not, you know, like, well, we got it during that season. They're not really like season worthy, right? Because what are we going to call it? Season of the MSQ? Like, you know, we, whenever we, we play and we pay for, for the season pass, it's just that the content for a season is not there. You mm. you shouldn't call it a season whenever there is like, uh, you know, 20 minutes of content, 10 minutes of content, and, and, and everything else is completely unrelated to the season. Because if you ask the people, like, what is season five about? There's, there's nothing about season five. There's no story about season five. What happened to the Silver Crows? You know, like, if, if yeah, at least it would have been... Story. Yeah, there's no seasonal story at all. It's mm. not a season. It's really not a season. Yeah, like what even is? I mean, I guess the Guardian is like the guy that's in the, the winter. The room, ice guy, like, but again, there's no season backstory. of the Guardian, but it's just yeah, it just doesn't really like have any weight to it. It's like oh, the season of that thing. Yeah, the season of the ten minute trial that you <laughs> do twice a week. Trial, yeah. yeah, and then never it's gonna <laughs> get, then it'll be irrelevant content just like everything else <laughs> like that's introduced. They just phase it out after three months. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be too negative of about course. season five. Um, in general, you know, I think we both. We, we tried to talk about the positives of New World. I, I think we got to address the, um, I don't know, the, the elephant in the room. Or I just want to say a little piece on season five was delayed for three weeks, Trick. It was. For fixing bugs and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's come out. And it feels like there's a lot of bugs, Trick. I don't know if you've <laughs> noticed, but there's, there's quite a few. I've yeah, seen people floating in the air, lot. bows being rapid fired. Uh, the perks were just all like code for some reason mm -hmm. on the first day um like there's a lot of jank i don't know man what's what do you what do you think's going on so, <laughs> in right, Amazon so right now here, I'm gonna how does what that much think, stuff right? make it through but the, the crazy thing is how many things got fixed because if you look at all the things that got fixed right and how many things mm -hmm. still made it through i so, so basically everything was broken I, yeah. like at this point nothing was working if they fixed like a hundreds of things and there's even more hundreds of things that are like you know like are broken so here's here's my here's my idea right why is it that we are in the stage that we are and okay. uh, and why are they not fixing it the way that we would like them to be fixed mm -hmm. so okay as we are aware and i'm pretty sure a lot of people are console is coming in somewhere around the lines of season seven right yeah uh console release all of the big changes that they have been hiding from us that they haven't told us yet like it must be big because previously even for season three let's say season three was which was the expansion it was pretty significant but they still told us what was happening you know they, they yeah you're getting mounts uh you're getting like you're getting the artifacts like we we were pretty aware of the things that were happening and that was an expansion you know so mm -hmm. season seven is coming and it's dead silent they're not telling us a thing so my yeah. assumption is whatever is coming in season seven is so big that all of the focus has been put onto that and yeah. the, the the bugs that are happening right now while they will like them to well they would like to fix them now it will take too much away or it will take too much of their time away from their season seven and since season seven is the reverse of the rebirth of the game whenever console comes out I think that they're giving themselves, all right, listen, I, we understand that we have this many bugs, but we still have five, six months to fix them. You know, mm -hmm. we shouldn't, we shouldn't drop everything that we're working on. Let's go ahead and finish with season seven. And then we still have time to go back into this bug and fix them. Because let's be real, the player base right now, it's really small. It's very tiny. So putting a lot of emphasis, a lot of focus in fixing the things that we have right now, it's not their focus, at least I think, right? Because their main focus is console. So putting a lot of time and effort into fixing all this bug, because it's not just a combat bug. There is a lot of bug. We have crafting bugs. We have, uh, uh, you know, combat bugs. We have uh, bugs happening with the PvP track. Like everything, everything is pretty much bugged at the moment. So putting them fixing all of the problems that we have right now so we can have a better season five wouldn't make much sense when whenever the end goal for them is that season seven great release yeah i almost kind of feel like at this point it's like um 
season seven is like the big update or whatever. So we'll, we'll go a little bit more into this because uh-huh. the, the, they've, you know, Scott has kind of given us a bit of information. Right. They've, uh, obviously, they're announcing in June, whatever the big plans are. Right. Um, and it would, would be interesting to, you know, we make some guesses of what they might announce or whatever, what they've talked about. But, um, Oh my god, I've lost my train of thought. What was he talking about? (laughs) Swimming! Swimming is coming, what Scott was talking about. Yeah, That was it. No, I was going to (laughs) say, right now, it almost feels like the live version of the game is kind of like the PTR for, like, the console release of the game. You know, they they got the controller support in, they're redoing the combat code and animation code, which I think is probably, like, something related to console. Mm -hmm. Like, we're basically just on, like, a sort of, what, three, four, five month PTR now <laughs> on yes. the live server. Yeah. Um, and they're just going to, like, fix it on the fly. So, yeah. Um, why aren't we talking about Season 6 at all this disaster? Well, that's an interesting question. I mean, so, June is when they've said that they're going to give us the info. Um, and Scott even name-dropped, like, Summer Games Fest, which right, I think did. is on June mm-hmm. 7th. So, 7th of June seems to be, like, what they're going to be talking about. They're, they've been pretty sealed lips about it um i feel like it's it's pretty obvious that console is happening i mean it seems this seems to be so much evidence from data mining to the controller support to just like everything that's going on in the game right now and then they're also you know june 7th just so happens to be like the xbox i think uh like day for them to talk about things and they they recently tweeted out about an xbox controller that you can get with a you know the game pass i mean there's so much signs mm-hmm. on the wall to yeah. to point to console and then they also hinted about swimming as well several um, times yeah what do you what do you think so we're gonna get console we're gonna get swimming i don't think that alone would be enough though trick i no, don't know I don't it's think just so like either. hey the game's on console <laughs> and swimming what else would you like to, i don't know what do you think we might see or what would you like to see I don't, so... whichever question you think is more fun I mean, the, we're not talking about season six, right? But season six will come around like right after June, right? If my math is yeah, not wrong. Sure. Yeah, because we got this in, uh, what is it? It's April right April. now. So we have April, May, June, July. So in theory, it would be like early July if there's not like another three, four week well, delay. Right, from whatever. right. <laughs> so probably in June, whenever with the summer games, they will probably announce season six uh, as well mm. as, as season seven. Um. But yeah, definitely console and, and swimming wouldn't be enough. But I don't think that those things are worth keeping so much secrecy for, right? Yeah. So like, let's talk about the things that New World is missing to be considered a, a, a big MMO, all right? Uh, mm-hmm. We definitely need a raid, right? That is something that the PvE or community has been asking for a long time because the Sandworm is not a raid. You know, it, yeah. it's, it, first of all, it's a very high level entry. Like you need to be, you need to have a super gear and it's just one boss. And, 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 and if, if they got anything out of the sandworm, grabbing 20 people, it's, it's quite difficult. You know, I, I so yeah, I, I will like, like this, may, this made me worried that they won't do a raid because not many people did the sandworm. I don't know. But, but I, what, I, if, I this. what if they drop it to 10? Because getting 10 people, it's a lot easier. And by having 10 people, think about it. You don't need a an incredibly mechanically advanced boss fight because mm-hmm. right now the sandworm is like all right, twenty people. You know you have to have like mechanics for twenty people so all twenty people feel engaged with the fight. But if we yeah. drop that to ten people, which half, and you put a, a a fight that is a little bit more mechanically advanced than the ten man trial that we have right now, because like I said, the ten man trial fights they do feel challenging and they feel they feel you know like every player is pretty much engaged with it. So having a, a little bit more difficult 10 man trial with not two, but maybe three, four, five bosses that mm. people can do once a week, that would be that would be quite nice. That would be a quite addition to, to the PvE community, especially if you add uh, another level of difficulty, like you can add mutated to it, right? Uh, yeah. So that is something for the PvEers 100% that they need to. And, and if they've been holding that as a secret, like a full flesh raid, or five, ten. I wouldn't say five because let's leave five just for dungeons, right? Uh, the twenty yeah. men. Let's leave it for 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 the sandworm. I'm completely okay with that. It's just one boss, and or probably if they never update the loot table, then it will be forgotten in the sands. Um, but I think ten men. It's a very good spot. It's a very sweet spot because you don't need uh, three, four tanks. You don't need four healers. You don't need. Uh, three spears, two war. Like it's not that much of like you know a team coordination, and it's a lot easier. Plus, some servers don't have the capability. Also, I don't think the raid will be cross server, right? It needs to be yeah. server based, 
and some servers just don't have that many people like we have some servers in in like australia that they don't even have enough people to do two opr so you know let's <laughs> imagine like nobody in australia will ever finish tempest hard uh so yeah, yeah that's for the pb ears um and not only adding that raid but adding all of the pv content that they have right now and just spice it up like the trials the trials definitely need to be more uh, important than what they are now uh mm. maybe single player trials for the people that don't want to participate in groups maybe uh, group trials and just make it more difficult give them like mutated they did mention a while back in a in a season in a roma remember that they said mutated soul trials you remember that that was uh for like season season four I think that yeah, was and then it yeah. got cut. And it uh, initially they were gonna say they were moving it to season five, which again I think is what the season that trials is, and then I think it's just I don't know where it, it, it maybe it comes it. back in though. They were like, yeah. let's hold it to for season seven or six. So yeah, having mutated seasonal trials, having a raid and having the other like the dungeons with the mutated as well. I think that's gonna be a pretty good substantial amount of content for the PvE, especially the console players. And, yeah. and especially if we can get a crossover as well. Like that'd be a, right, be awesome. Right. Uh, reward portals? Uh, sure, uh, sure. Portals is it's a weird thing because mm. you know it's this thing that if you don't have enough players to do it, it's not an easy experience to do it. Uh, yeah. And but then if you have too many people, then it's just a snooze fest. Like you're just there, you know. So maybe mm. with the portals, they could just make it into 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 an event kind of thing. Something that happens like the the influence races, you know, but for PVEers. Like, yeah, uh, time a day. yeah, three times a day, you have this portal of waves that you need as many people from the server to, to participate as possible. Um, so yeah, that is for the PvE years. For the PvP years, definitely we need cross service arena, but which Katie mm -hmm. already said that is coming. Cross service arenas is coming. She didn't specify when, maybe season six, maybe season seven. We don't know that. And ranked arenas. I don't know if ranked yeah. arenas are going to come given that we don't even have cross-service arenas yet. Um, but a new OPR mode, definitely we need a new OPR mode. If they add a new OPR mode and ranked arenas, I think the PvP community will be incredibly satisfied because at this point, we will have World PvP. While people don't think World PvP is a good aspect of the game, it's still very enjoyable by the player base. Like World PvP is still something that people enjoy. Um, we need, we're need. going to have the PvP island. The PvP island... We don't know exactly how good it's going to be or how big or substantial or how much that is going to keep the players busy, right? But let's say that yeah. we have World PvP, we have the PvP Island, uh, we have the Influence Races. Uh, all of these three things are people can do it whenever they, they want to, right? It's not something that the sweaty players can do and there, it, it doesn't require a lot of team coordination. Now, something that requires a lot of team coordination we're talking about wars that will keep the people that are into the into the companies into their territory ownership so wars definitely need to be retouched somewhat uh, i think yeah. the wars have been stale for well basically since the very beginning of the game you know like mm -hmm. they haven't done anything to the war other than balancing well balancing is not really making it more fun because it's the same fort basically every time for the exception of the terrain around the fort right um the opr the opr is very good for the casual player especially for big group of casual players um yeah. but we have a competitive large-scale pvp which is wars but a lot of people are not access it's not accessible to to the majority of the player base but what is accessible to the majority of the player base is arenas but right now mm -hmm. there's not a a competitive small-scale pvp for the people that are having only one two friends or the people that don't want to be part of a big company. So having having a small scale competitive PVP like ranked arenas that will take care of such a big chunk of the population that would like to be rewarded, would like to to be competitive in without being part of a large company. So yeah, and then at that point we're going to have casual arenas, we're going to have competitive arena which is ranked arenas. Mm -hmm. Um and and then we have the the PVP island, open world PVP, wars, OPR. So yeah, that's uh that's what I think they will probably be holding on to announce. Oh, and swimming. Yeah, and swimming of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so we so got yeah, we got swimming, like we got console. 
I mean, I think I I I, th I like most of those suggestions to be honest. Um, I think a I, I don't know. I don't want to get too greedy, but I think a new. Did you say a new PvP game mode? Because I always thought like capture the flag would be pretty fun in New World. You'd have to figure out some way to make you know uh, like a Umbrella Man build. Um, not just you know somebody who just grabs the flag with five hundred <laughs> and kill. they just just rapier sword and shield and they're just constantly. You'd have to give them like a movement speed or a, a reduction incoming healing or something. But I do think like capture the flag in New World would be kind of fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think about the idea with ranked PvP and then like kind of just like World of Warcraft? Basically, you get a currency or you get a rating or something, and then mm -hmm. that allows you to buy things from the faction store. Right. I mean, I guess we already kind of have that with faction rep but what if there was a separate part within the faction store where you could like uh i don't know like you like cool skins if we don't want it to be gear maybe gear would be too unfair or something but but do you think that system works in new world or do you think that's just like adding too much like restricting a type of you know if you don't engage in ranked pvp then you can't get this gear or whatever i wouldn't i wouldn't put gear behind the a rating because then that will separate people like, oh, I can never beat this person in PvP simply because mm. of the gear that he has that is obtainable, un unobtainable to me, right? Yeah. Um, if we look, for example, at Leaderboard, which has been extraordinarily bad implementation. Like, it's so bad. Like, Leaderboard, it's a joke, except for, yeah. uh, for I PvP. I kind of forgot there. I haven't paid attention to the Leaderboard. Yeah, I haven't paid attention to the Leaderboard <laughs> ever since the first two weeks they introduced it, right? But, the, only, the only time that I've really noticed this a thing is you open up like the transmog or the skins menu and it shows you all of the leaderboard skins. I'm like, holy flip, dude. They make like a new one for every season and it's like there's so many of them. But It's the same the, but new. It's the same skin, yeah. Yeah, it just, it's exactly. Like, just a different color. Uh, but yeah, yeah but even, though, like, even though it's the same skin with a different color, there's some mm. people that are still interested in doing them just so they can simply get that, right? And, and what mm. you said, it, it changes every season, right? So putting a skin or enchantments or something or even like a mount skin or a different mount into a seasonal arena reward that people can compete for it and put that behind the rating, that wouldn't really affect the player base because, again, it's not power that you're buying. It's just visuals. And then at the end of the day, let, let's be real. Most of the end game that people want is the challenge and the visuals. Something that they can show the yeah. people, right? It's about how hard it is to get there and, and what can I show off to people that I have? Because at the end of the day, you could have the best piece of armor. You're still going to have a transmog on top of it. Yeah, I always thought that they like the implementation of mounts is like mounts feel good. But I feel like, man, you should have done more with the Amazon. Imagine if there's like cool mount skins that you could get by being like, you know, uh, winning a set number of games or like, you know, uh, like an actual meaningful metric on the leaderboard how instead of you know yeah like that would be really cool dude how about the mount races b they they added yeah. that with the mounts it's like look at these races look at them you do them once and then you never do it again how fun yeah, yeah I like it's <laughs> just the story of the game dude it's like you do the sandworm and then we're gonna make sure you don't want to do it again because we're gonna invalidate the rewards and the hatchery forget about it you're not yeah. doing that three we throw arena well we make no cross server q and we're removing the rewards so yeah. don't do that I'm like mount races do them once don't do them again soul trials once never again never like, again <laughs> make some bring, do amazon come on man it's like they keep building things and then forgetting that they're there and like should we nah we're just nah, yeah, whatever. Is, yeah 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 <laughs> They'll forget about it. They're like constantly like, uh, they're just like, you know, instead of um, like cleaning up dishes or whatever, they're just constantly getting a new plate all the yeah, time. Just just... A stack of like crap behind them. I'm like, dude, just deal with this stuff, please. Yeah, <laughs> just keep reading. Because that is, by, by the way, that is the majority of content. The majority of content is reusable activities, you know, replayable, replayability. The more something that they create has more replayability, that is where most of the content comes from. The content mm. is not a super intricate MSQ that you do or or something that you do for the first time. Like, yeah, that is a, that is an experience. But content yeah. is replayability of things that you have already created, right? Mm, yeah, for sure. Uh, if I was being skeptical, it's like, oh, like pessimistic or whatever. It's like Amazon wants to focus on the, the one time content because that's like what every like you're guaranteed before you go 65 and do a push rush, you have to 
do the main storyline or whatever. So they want to make sure that's as good as possible because then makes sense. Yeah, you'll tell you'll tell your friends and then they'll buy copies of the game or whatever. So and I guess from a business standpoint that makes sense, but it still just seems like very short sighted. You know, like if you if you want people to be that still to sell season passes and have like a long term future for the game, you also got to think about that as well. And uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I think sometimes they're very narrow sighted, but. Maybe it maybe it'll all make sense in June trick. Maybe, maybe. the grand announcement yeah. will all I hope it does. I really do. You know, I, I know New World's in a dire state right now, but I'm still still pretty, holding yeah. out hope that it's gonna be a pretty exciting announcement. Um let's wrap things back around trick to, yeah, to the current state of New World. Um have you watched the the cooking video thing? I did. did you watch that one? Yeah, okay. I had yeah. I haven't I haven't I haven't watched that one yet. I do wanna make a little bit of a, a stink here i don't know if it's a stink i really don't know if i'm just like it's like unnecessary drama mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um the prize that you win so we'll give a little bit of context here just in case you guys don't know amazon's doing like a cooking competition where you have to take a photo of some food that you make that looks like food in the game so you can cook a dish so you got your roasted rabbit with vegetable medley or whatever the other foods are banana pudding and stuff um if you win Tra- trick. Yeah, Each I winner win. will receive 20,000 marks of fortune. Now, I don't know if you've checked in the store, <laughs> but the latest bundle is 30,000 marks of fortune. So they, they don't even give you enough of a reward nope. to buy a bundle nope. off the store. <laughs> they like, give you $20. Why is, it, why is it such a crappy reward, dude? <laughs> <laughs> why, why, like, I feel like... I don't know, man. There's some level of like communication between departments, and it just like maybe somebody thinks that twenty thousand marks of fortune is it's a lot. A lot. But it's, it's, no, it's, it's twenty dollars. It's dude. not even like probably enough to cook the meal and take the picture. No, it's dude. not. I mean, it's what's not, going on, dude. Amazon? Twenty dollars. Oh, that is that is something else. Like they might as well just give it like a like a CVS gift card or something. Yeah, and honestly, I just think they shouldn't have put up a price. They should have just said, hey, we're gonna tweet it out and we'll talk about it and forge it in the turn because it just seems like such a meh reward. Oh, also, okay. I need to send you this as well, Trick, for, for context. It? Have you seen um, the other thing? Sorry, I'm just, I'm on, I'm on one right now, but I also want to talk about, um, let me link you this one here. Oh, the yeah. Springtide Bloom on the New World. Have you taken a look through the rewards and stuff? Uh, actually, no, I, um, I haven't, I haven't taken it. I did see, I, I scrolled through it yesterday a little bit and we get like uh, the seals and yeah. we get the Ace of the Inductor as well. Yeah. Right. So again, for for the context for chat and for the, the listeners who are you know not live, uh, Springtide Bloom is coming back around. It's kind of like the summer medley fair or the winter convergence, but it's spring uh, styled. You you pick flowers and you blow up wasps. It's I mean it's kind of you know it's it's goofy, but it's a little bit fun if you enjoy that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, we do. Um, I think can I can I link this in your chat? There's the uh, article there. Now if you scroll down, trick to the first, second, third fourth fifth image so okay, it's springtide centerpiece and um i guess we're gonna have to get hmm. uh editor jack or something to flash up the image here but do you see that image uh of the rewards that you can get for the springtide centerpiece uh right it's like uh it's a gray background and then there's just some like square images yeah what is what do you what is that thing to the right so that's a company crest on the, company right, crest side. On the what very is, right side what is that what is to the left of that trick to the left of that, I mean, it seems like a piece of wall. <laughs> yeah, w- <laughs> what is it, dude? I, I don't know. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> and then what's that on the far left as well? It, it, some rope. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what is this image, dude? <laughs> I don't know what they, what this image is. It's um, strange, dude. Yeah, it's. I it's just images. <laughs> it's, just, it's like a weird mood board. I don't know. Yeah, don't it's, know, man. it's just you just drop some images up there. It's like I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Like, I just think right now, like, there's a. I my guess is internally with that Amazon, it's like all hands on deck for console, and they've got like two guys who are like keeping an eye on the current state of the game and they're just chucking random things in and they're like oh we're, it's the season of the trials right and like no it's season of the guardian is like oh just, just put it in it doesn't matter what do you care uh, what about this image yeah just put some rope in there and a piece of wood and uh put that on the website that'll be fine you oh, know i think i'm starting to get it so <clears throat> all of the things that are on top it's what it made it into the tent below because if you uh, see yes. the heart on the right side it's the heart on the on the pedals of the thing if you see the rope next to the bundle of rope, is the rope they use it to tie it down. Then the curtain, it's the curtains in the front. Then you have the vase in the center. 
So they use all of these pictures on top to tell us what that thing was created with. And the wood, uh, of course, the wood. The wood, yeah. yeah. I, like, I like the picture of the wood. And yeah, then there's wait. like a, a leaf with like a little tent around it as well. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And the T-Pose. Have you gotten the T-Pose bug inside of the game? Oh, yeah, there's this guy just T-Posing in there as well, just to <laughs> let you know what you can expect. <laughs> it is just the mood board, yeah. I don't know. I wonder if it's just like the accidentally an artist sent over their mood board image. And they're like, yeah, we'll just stick that in. Yeah. <laughs> <Whatever>. just... <laughs> what are they stick made out of? Wood. <laughs> <laughs> well the good the good news about this event though i mean we're making fun of it but it is going to be an opportunity to get a chromatic seal once a week diamond gypsum's finally going to be back in as yeah, well um, i can't really get that right now there's also a uh, spring tide crumble oh, which <laughs> temporarily increases constitution i don't know by how much but it's going to be uh interesting to see if that's actually some like good food yeah 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 we're getting the pattern 700 gear score pattern look at that yeah, it's probably gonna have luck on it, sort of something though, isn't Some, it? It's something that be... we don't use at all. Yeah. Yeah. Some like bring back indestructible or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the other thing that I wanted to talk about, we we get the cooking, you know, and it's it, sure it is what it is in the springtide bloom. Like I think a lot of the content right now is just you can enjoy it if you want, but ultimately I think right now it's like let's just wait for the future of New World and try and have fun where you can. Um, one thing that I think is, is interesting for Amazon to do right now is continuing their commitment to put out a video every week, Forged in a ton of, and, um, I feel like a lot of the videos lately have been a bit frustrating to yes. watch trick. What, what, what's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they can do here. Cause I, I feel like they, they've made a commitment that they just don't want to tell us they can't tell us whatever it is about what's right. happening in season six season seven but that's all the players really want to know so I, I just, the video yeah yeah like what can you do in in those videos to actually like be appealing i don't know right i mean what the, are, what are you... the, yeah yeah the reason why they do especially so often this developers update is so they can communicate with the player base on things that they are working on but then every hmm. single one of them is like, we cannot tell you what we're working on. Then why yeah. are you even making the video to begin with? If you cannot tell us what we want to know and, and they just keep beating around the bush and it's like, oh, we cannot tell you. And then they read a question. Oh yeah, we cannot tell you until June. Like it, it just makes them look like not only they're not engaging with the player base, but they are ignoring the player base in a way. Hmm. Yeah. And I mean, it, I think we can both agree the best video that they have released besides the cooking one. Uh, no, what's the, 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 the one from, what is her name? Lila? The, is it Lydia? Lid, Lydia? Lydia, Lila. Yeah, the, the community manager, the community manager video. Uh, she actually asked some very good questions that uh, yeah she was she was great I think honestly I, I was I was asking like why is she not in more videos but then she's only recently I don't know right. had this position or something like yeah, that yeah, so, yeah. yeah it's it's like a new it's like a new segment where she said they will uh, uh, like engage more like in depth with what the developers are doing right. Obviously, mm -hmm. the first video was with Scott, which is the game director. He should have all of the information about some of the, if not all of the questions that the player base has. Uh, probably the next video will be in depth with uh, the combat team. Maybe they, they can tell us more about it. Uh, because I think whenever we had uh, Devin, Nevin, you know, the guy that was previously asking the questions, it yeah. seems like the question that he was picking were some general questions that he might have thought that it was good, right? Uh, there was mm -hmm. no real reason behind picking those questions because you, myself, and the entire of the player base, every time that some of these questions will be picked, will be like, what the hell? Why are we even picking that question? That makes absolutely no sense, right? Yeah. So with Lila, actually, since she's one of the, the community manager, She's more engaged with the real question that the player base has. And asking mm -hmm. these real questions that we have, that is phenomenal. I think that is probably going to be in the future the best way that the players are going to get some feedback and some real answers from the developers. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Hopefully we see some better, or I don't know, like at least le less frustrating videos going yes, forward. Because, man, it's just been... 
I don't know. It's either like it's like a really stupid question or it's like a decent question, but then the answer is just like, well, we've considered that and we might do it sometime in the future or we're not ready to talk about that yet. Or, you know? or we're thinking about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, have you noticed there's been an absence of uh, of Dave in, Dave. in recent videos? Yes. Man, I'm, I miss Dave, dude. We I need do. To bring back big Dave. And, and, and the recent Maybe, way... Uh, uh -huh. Maybe maybe he's like uh, playing New World on an Xbox or something right now. He's, he's you know <laughs> thoroughly QAing it. The reason why we like Dave so much and the reason why we miss Dave so much is because Dave was actually and, and not only Dave. I think we also have Stan, the uh, the the bold old gentleman. I forgot his name. Is that his name? Dan. Dan. So Dan? yeah, Dan, the one that he talks about combat and he he talk, He was the one that was talking about the influence races. Um, oh yeah yeah I yeah yeah so him and dave here. seems to be like people that not only play the game but understand what's going on like a lot of time they throw their like you know we think this is good or get good you know like this is the goal this is why we did it right mm. uh we don't need a a, a k2 or scott talking about combat like as much as we would like for them to know about the game we, we don't really want to hear them talking about combat because they don't know much what's going on with the combat as, you know, some of the some of the player base that are constantly playing the game. Because uh, I understand maybe the way that Scott and Katie play the game. They log in, they're like, oh, okay, let's test this or let's do that kind of thing, you know. And they go, they enjoy it. They're not playing there for several hours understanding the, the, the bugginess with, uh, with, with the combat. And they might encounter some of this problem with combat but they were like, ah, they will probably fix it. Or, okay, they will fix that. They don't really understand the frustration and, and, and what the purpose of some of these abilities do and how it feels, right? Like, mm. I, I, don't, I don't want them to... I, and I don't expect them to know too much about the in-depth combat. But Dave, Dave and Dan, they were really, really understanding and they had a grasp on how the combat, which is the main thing and the main selling point of New World. Let's all be real here. The only yeah. reason why we keep coming back to New World is because of the combat. It, it's unmatched and it's something so unique that we are addicted to it. And these people, these people understand it. They, they understood. Dave was very connected with the player base. And they were like, all right, yeah, I understand this weapon is really OP. But the reason why this weapon is the way it is is because we wanted that weapon to be like that. That was the design, you know, and they will, they will tell us what was their point of view, what was their reasoning behind it. And uh, mm. obviously, some people will not agree, but at least we know why they did it. Yeah, yeah, it's always like just some transparency, like, hey, we're changing this thing, and this is why we're changing the thing. Sometimes they just like do a thing, and they don't even say why. And why they did it, exactly, yeah. Yeah. I admit, yeah, yeah, I see Chance talking about the combat being bad yeah. now. <laughs> I, man, I hope they can uh, do another pass it on the combat. It is really crazy. Team, yeah, I've tried to, I've been, but especially because I usually just, you know, I'm like playing Lifestaff Order. Right? I play Ice mm -hmm. Gauntlet, Void Gauntlet, but like I've been trying to play with the new Great Axe and stuff. I play like Great Axe and Hatchet, and it is a rough trick. Like trying to, trying to yeah, hit no. people is, uh, it's a mix. You might hit connect, or you might just teleport backwards, or your ability might work, yeah. or it might not happen. It's, yeah, and it's, it's almost every ability it's, too. In the basic attack, it's like, it's like, a, you never, there's no consistencies. That is the main problem that we have right now is that there's yeah. no consistency whatsoever. Nothing. Nothing is consistent. Some things yeah. work one time. Some things don't work the other time. And sometimes that thing did a completely different thing that it didn't do the two times before. Yeah, uh, so sometimes it feels like I'm like I'm watching somebody else play my character. I'm like, that's not what I, yes! I said. I didn't, I didn't do that. True. Why is it doing that? Yeah, it's weird, dude. Weird movement that the character does. Like, sometimes you use an ability and you get teleported back like two meters. Mm. Very weird. Why yeah. do they... Town board and Joy says, why did they change stuff that is fine? What, what's your take on this trick? What, what do you think? Why did they why? change stuff that is fine? Well, what was it? What are we talking about? We're talking about combat? I got, I got like the combat and animation. Why did they do the, I mean, basically, my understanding of why they did this combat and animation code is because it's, um, although it feels good, they've kind of just been botching it together to try and get it to the state that it was in. Yeah. But every time, like, they would make a change, something would break, you know? For example, with the... What was it? There was the flail bug where you'd get like the movement speed that was really speed, fast right. and then they fixed it, but then it broke something with rapier and blunderbuss right. and they had to disable abilities for like uh, two weeks or whatever. 
It's, I think every time they like change something in the game, something else might just randomly change because the code was all just like weird gibberish. Mm -hmm. So they've 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 translated all the code now into like actual stuff that they know what they're doing with, but they haven't got it exactly where they want one to one as it, yeah. it used to be. But fingers crossed, it should take them not two years to get it back to <laughs> where it was. You know, uh, a month or two ago. Mm -hmm. I think ideally that this this change would happen like just later on when it's ready. But again, you know, it's that sort of idea that we are the PTR for console the, right yes, now. And exactly. It, I guess like the one saving grace. If I mean, it's it feels really bad, but you know, at least if we if you can put up with it and give them the feedback and we can get it right now, then at least the, you know the console players uh, will enjoy the game, so we can make sure that they sell lots of copies on console. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy that our faith and hope it's based on console like we yeah. are here sitting out like let's just hope that the console players are happy like the, yeah. <laughs> because i mean we haven't gotten anything we are bone dry right now we have nothing mm. to do and at this point we just accepted the role of being we are just working here for the future of our people you know like for the next for the next uh generation is what basically what we're doing here um, yeah. And I will tell this it's to not... the player base. I'm sorry that I called you there. No, that, that right now, and all, everything, everything points at console. Every focus that they putting on, every future content that we're getting, even the combat reward that we're getting right now, they know it's not perfect. It's far from being perfect, right? But by the mm. time it comes out for console, they hope they hope that it's on the stage they wanted to be at. Right, dude. So, I, just, I just hope it's cross-platform though, because if after all this comes dude, out, and then like, wait, if you, you want to keep playing the game, I'm like, oh, no, I'm like, come on, Amazon, come on, dude. <laughs> like, I was, I was hoping for the player base <laughs> spike here at least, so we can still play the game. Yeah, man, they just create a whole new server. It's like, oh, that's it. You're done, console players. I mean, PC players. <laughs> yeah. No, it has to be. It has to be cross-platform. That will be that will be a, a very big slap, especially since they haven't told us anything. Imagine if they're waiting for June and then all of us that have spent so much time and effort into the game, they're like, oh, by the way, all of you that have been playing the game, you guys won't be able to play the game anymore you know, starting starting July or August or October, whatever it is. Yeah, we'll, we'll have the PC player server and it's just one server and it's got 100 people on it. But, I mean, <laughs> you know, it'd be great, though. It's going to be like we'll Australia. Have... Yeah, this is where all does on Sutek. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know, though, dude. I do think, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about the negative to you of New World or whatever, but you look back at some of the old footage or whatever, or just, you know, think, wind your mind back, like, the thousands of hours that we played the game. The, mm -hmm. the start of New World was really fun, and I, I don't know if you've made a new character yet. I'm planning to do one for Season 5 because they fully fully finished the storyline. I think the, the starting experience, like, the, the honeymoon period for New World... It's really good, so man. Fun. It was really fun back Super then. Good. It's probably going to be even better now, and then yes. it could be even even better with whatever they are going to add to the game. Exactly. In well, who knows when, but you know they'll announce it in June. So um, it's not very popular to be optimistic about New World or to like believe in it still. But yeah, I, I do think that the game will probably sell pretty well on console. Um, I just hope they don't balls up the server and then they have a long term plan going forward. Yeah, a hundred percent. Let's just hope. Let's just hope that whatever they're bringing, it's it's. It's substantial enough for 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 the console player I, I, as long as it works good which i think it will there's no reason why to doubt it because what i tell my community um if new world would have released then the way that it is now i guarantee you we will have a tremendous amount of players but well, maybe not right now in season five you know maybe not right now um, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 maybe not right now but like the things that we have because People seem to forget that whenever New World came out, we had no OPRs, no arenas, no mounts, only two dungeons, which was Genesis and Lazarus. Uh, because yeah. we had no mutations that then mutated later on is when it added Dynasty and the depth to it because we didn't have that before. <laughs> um, and, and there was absolutely nothing. The only PvP content that was back then was open world PvP duels and and the level 50 wars which was the most fun that we realistically had uh, back then but that quickly died you know and the yeah. majority of the player base that quit new world that all nine hundred thousands of them quit before even reach level 60. um so again it was absolutely nothing it was a shit show it was super unbalanced abilities were doing crazy things 
everybody was life staff and great axe uh everybody was great axe and something else it was full of dupes it was full of it was it was such a mess it was such mm. an incredible mess that it should not even be compared to what it is now and it not it's not even going to be close to what is going to be in season seven given that yeah. they don't they don't mess anything up and they just continue to refine the things that we have right now because let's see the things that they just finished the msq so they don't need to touch that anymore whatsoever they just gave us the brand new slayer script which from here to season seven should just be refined 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 and then yeah. the only thing that they will be adding new is whatever new things are coming in season seven so between yeah, now imagine, imagine a patch or an update for new world that is actually just content instead of like you know oh we had a transmog or raid group so mounts you know like a feature that most of the mmos that, have exactly exactly <laughs> and like, yeah, yeah, and also the events. Like people were like, "Man, it's it's, it's uh, this event," you know. But whenever New World came out, it had zero events, zero. Yeah. And and little by little, so the end goal is for them to have events from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, you know. Mm. And once that is filled up, then the the, the and and the, the events don't need to change. Like people people are delusional that it's the same event. Every year, you know, the crashes, you kill the two dudes and, and you're done with it. Like, I mean, like, do you want them to change the event every year? If you look at other MMOs, their winter event or their uh, Halloween event, it's always the same event every single year. Barely nothing changes. The highlight mm. of it, it's like people get to do it again. People get to get the skins that they didn't get. And people get to participate, maybe get that one weapon, you know? So the events being the same events every year with just a little bit of new things added to it, I'm completely okay with that. Uh, it's yeah. much better than not having any event whatsoever because look at a, my, a tiny event like that one that with the, the, the lunar event with that you had to oh, go, the, the lunar year thing. Year of the Dragon. The Year of the Dragon. That was something so little, but it still is something better whenever you have something to do than nothing to do at all. Like, what do you yeah, rather? Dude. Just sit in Winsward doing nothing? Or go do the lunar event for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes and at least get a little bit out of it. So I'm completely yeah. okay with that. Mm. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, that might, I think like a closing thought for me for like the, you know, the doubters or the, the naysayers of like New World being completely gone. For me, every major milestone of New World, every major like update from release mm -hmm. brimstone sands rise of the angry earth i've had like a lot of fun you know yeah. like it, it's like the 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 sort of and it, again the fun does peter off after like you know 100 hours of the update or whatever but those first 100 hours of every every big update it's been good like been, it, it has fun. been a lot of fun yeah so i why would it be any different this year why would this year's major update not be fun i just hope that there is more in the tank than previously because we burned through the content pretty fast but i do think there is going to be like a lot of fun to be had in new world it just it's it just sucks that it's probably still you know several months away yes yeah, sir yeah dude yeah. and then the, the other thing is like oh well there's not going to be any players this time around but if this console that will actually be quite a lot of players probably more than players. we got for the Much rise more. of the Earth. probably yes. more than brimstone dude like i mean maybe getting closer to the release of the game sort of number that's of players, what i was so. thinking yeah yeah especially the console having such a big community and actually selling a finished mm. game with swimming mm. in it b so, oh, dude, sw <laughs> swimming man it's yeah. like i can't what, believe what it kind of swimming. Swimming. you think we're gonna we, you think we're gonna have <laughs> do you actually think we're gonna have like water content like uh what do you what is your hope for swimming is it, is I, it I mean uh -huh. If I'm be, like being hopeful, but also like kind of pessimistic at the same time, it's going to be like a bit like mounts where like they'll add it in and it'll feel good and mm -hmm. there'll be like some content to support it. But for the most part, it won't be like relevant at all. And then they'll probably like enable it later on in Outpost Rush, you know, it's like, yeah, oh, you so, can swim in that lake in Outpost Rush. So it's, it's, I mean, I would like to imagine that there's uh -huh. like a whole system of like diving and oh. like making swimming gear and stuff and flippers and, you know, you can <laughs> swim to other islands. But it's probably just going to be like, hey, you can swim and we've created these swim races so you can level up your swimming faster <laughs> but you only do them once and then you never do them again <laughs> like, nice amazon oh and there's a, there's snorkel skins on the store now <laughs> buy them so yeah so okay so what you're saying is essentially gonna be like a quality of life feature yeah be because doing this like in the a, water kind of in, to mounts, in it, right yeah so yeah the same thing like whenever they were talking about mounds and the, and, and a big part of the community were like we don't need mounds. Mounds is useless. Why do we even need mounds? And then we got mounds and people were like, okay, this is, this is really good. 
This is yeah, really that, fun. I mean, I, to be fair, I was in the camp of like, I don't think the game needs mounts either. I and was then I got too. I okay, was there too. <laughs> but then, then I get on the mount and I'm like going through brimstone, just like, Nyong! and I'm like, man, doing this freaking uh, golden scare chest with a mount is a million times better than not doing it with mounts. I mean, heck, look at OPR. It's the same map for the past two and a half, three years, but crap, they added mounts all of a sudden, and we're like, just just having fun, you know. It's it's just those things, man. And 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 it's gonna. Well, it's not that big of a deal right now. You look at a water and like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drown. I'm just gonna unless drown. You got, unless you got the skate emote. <laughs> oh, yeah, unless you you go skating around it, right? But just adding swimming to it is it's it's another barrier that is like removed, right? Mm, like it, yeah. it's not a limitation because we know that limitations are never good. Mm. Obstacles that make the, 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 the experience of the player base less enjoyable, it's never good. Even though it's a tiny thing, it's never good. So even though that is probably gonna be just a regular swimming, listen, we can at least now swim from here to there without drowning. Like what am I playing? Yeah. Freaking Elder, Elder Soul, Elder Scroll over here? No, I mean, uh, what is it? Elder Ring, if you fall in the water, you die. Vice City. As well. uh, Dragon's Dragon's Dogma says that as well. You just like you're in water, you just oh you just did. You get eaten <laughs> you did. by a, yeah. I don't know something, That's which it. would have been a cool way for New World to do it. Honestly, just have things eat you in the water. Oh, um, I, I haven't played Dragon Dogma. No. Uh, right, trick. I got. I gotta wrap things up here, friends. Yeah. Um, is there anything you wanna? I know anything you wanna plug or talk about? Like last uh, last thoughts on this on the podcast. L last Mr. trick. Last thoughts on the podcast is, and th this mostly for the player base. And what we were talking about earlier, um, and hopefully this is like an eye opener to everybody, and and this is it. Uh, listen, the developers are right now super focused in the future of the game. They're not really focused in us, right? Um, so the 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 more you get upset with the things that we have right now, and the more you demand of the developers to do, it's just it's just not the mindset to have. Uh, just mm. think about it like we are playing the alpha or the beta and the game is actually coming out sometime in the future and it's coming out with supposedly great things. And if you're not having fun now, go play something else. Literally, just go play something else and, and come and drop every once in a while. Hey, is it a good time to come back? Because we're going to be real. We're going to be honest with you. So uh, stop punishing yourself and stop having a negative experience because whenever you have a negative experience, you just going, it spreads like wildfire. Then anybody asks you and you're like, no, New World is shit. New World is garbage. Don't play it. It's garbage of a game, right? Mm. Uh, and if, and I already told this my community, if in July, whenever they do the big announcement, we see that it's not something that it's enough for us to devote our time and efforts into the game, I will tell my community. And you know, and if you're having a very negative experience right now and you don't see the light of the end of the tunnel, just, just go and have fun with something else. You know, at the end of the day, that's what we play games for, right? To have fun, mm. just being a masochist and, and, and playing and just, oh, PR is unplayable. <laughs> the developers, you know, like right now, yeah, this is, this is not helping yourself. It's not helping the developers. It's surely not helping us because the last thing that we want to see somebody in chat like, this game is garbage. How dare you play this dead game? Go have fun doing something. How about you go have fun doing something else, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's what I got for for the community, man. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Uh my thoughts, I would say first of all, Townboard Enjoyer is asking us about flying mounts. I don't think new no, I mean, I know gonna... I said this about mounts, but like we definitely flying mounts we need the map to be like six times bigger yeah. or something. Plus that. we have block climbing. PVP and everything. It would, yeah. Um my second thought is uh, Amazon, if you do want some help on Forged in Eternum, um, oh, yeah, me and Trigger dude. here, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. Yes! Just, you know, sign us up, Amazon. 100%. Um, and also, get us into the Lord of the Rings Alpha. Come on, we won't say anything, but it'd be really cool <laughs> to see what's going on there as well. <laughs> no, but that's for um, reals, yeah. We builds, we, we, I think both me and Trick are doing builds for uh, Season 5. You can check Tricks out, New World Champ, nwchamp.com. Mm -hmm. I've got mine over on Discord, discord.gg forward slash the Shire. Yeah. Um, and yeah, season five, it's pretty bad, let's be honest, but there's going to be some bug fixes. Hopefully we get Life Taker back soon. Yeah. Uh, yeah ultimately, 
yeah, the the game isn't going anywhere. It's it's definitely declining in players, and it's probably going to continue to happen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think the game's getting shut down, and I do this, actually yeah. think there's there's pretty pretty fun times ahead. So yeah. if you wanna if you wanna have some fun, you know, while while you're waiting there, me and Trick are gonna still be streaming the game and, yes, and goofing sir. around, doing what we can. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you don't have any faith in New World or whatever, and you don't enjoy it anymore, then jog gone. <laughs> <laughs> or I mean, have faith in us, right? And, yeah. yeah, and if there's nothing to do and you're really falling asleep, don't forget that this guy over here sells delicious coffee. Uh, if you go to his uh, stream channel, exclamation mark club, second breakfast, you can see it in the back right there. Sells amazing hoodies, delicious coffee. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Don't don't miss the opportunity. <laughs> He's going to probably do some discounts for season seven release. Uh, don't quote me on that, uh, but we'll see. All right, Trek, I'm going to go uh, race you now to try and get Ironheart. So best of luck, oh man. Oh, my God, um, dude. Why you remind me of that? <laughs> oh. All right. Thanks for, the, thanks for the talk, dude. It was good fun. Yep. Good luck. You're trying to get your 2.5% chance. Yep. I love you, B. <laughs> <laughs> love you, man. Bye, Trek. Bye, Bye-bye. chat. Bye, viewers, listeners on other platforms. Yes, and, uh, sir. And make sure like, subscribe, review, whatever the platform wants you to do. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, everyone.